Hey everybody, what happens when a group of people see change and act on it? Hey everybody, Jesse Martineau here with the Community Compass. Great to see you once again. I have a minimal set around me today for a reason. Great ideas, world-changing ideas, they start off small. It's not the flash and the show and the production that you might have once that idea is developed. It's usually just one simple idea, alone in the dark, that is allowed to grow and flourish and become something that can really cause change. A year and a half ago, there was something called the Change Summit that was hosted in Spruce Grove, Alberta, but it involved many people from around the region. The region came together because they were looking for some sort of change. I was tricked into coming to this, but I'm very glad I was. Because what I discovered at the first Change Summit was an idea. And yeah, it seemed like it was alone in the dark maybe, but I saw a possibility, I saw a potential for where it could go. In a couple weeks, the second change summit is happening, but in between there, there was a journey. And along that journey, some young people got inspired to have a summit of their own. And so, not too long ago, there was the Beyond Summit. Now, the Beyond Summit involved youth from the same region that the change summit involved. So I was very encouraged, very interested to see where this would go. And so I tracked the story from the beginning and I met up with some of the founders of the Beyond Summit. Let's hear what some of them have to say. My name is Neil Schmidke. I'm one of the founders of Beyond Summit Chain Conference. My name is Kirsten Latender. I got involved with Beyond Summit from the very Get go. I was at the first meetings and I was initially just sparked right away. My name is Hunter Nicholas Skalski. I'm a Beyond Summit co founder. We started this last November and it's just really grown from there. I think it's, we're all a little bit surprised that it actually is happening now. Kyle Schmicki, yeah, I've just worked with everybody else as a planner, organizer from the ground up. My name is Hannah Anderson and lots of what I do to get this thing going is lots of the marketing side of it. People always love the idea of being able to help. Our dream takeaway for the weekend would be for everybody that's involved to come with 100% engagement in the event and then to go out in the community and try and create actions towards their desired community. I want to see different opportunities for mentorship. I'm huge about that because I've been mentored a lot and I would like to mentor other kids from a younger age and help them, show them different experiences for myself and help them from day one to get into where, wherever their goal is, wherever they want to be and do in their life. My ultimate goal is to end up having an organization in which we can have people come pitch to us community-minded ideas and we would be able to say, we like that idea, we're gonna give you this much money. And we might have businesses that team up with us and say, this business is really into mental health. They might say, if you get an idea that you fund that has to do with mental health, we're gonna match your donation. I think for the most part as a group, we've kind of decided that if this goes off well, not, not even without a hitch, just well, and something comes of it, we're all pretty dedicated to understanding that this is something that for years to come is going to be impactful, and I'm, I'm willing to dedicate my life to that. I'm a nursing student. It's not the most time-friendly thing in the world, but I still, like, this is something really important to me, and I have found the time for it all, all year, so, and we're still here, and I think, I think we're all just really excited that it's going to pay off, and we're actually... We got our stuff together in time and we'd like to just see it really work as a community. for the Beyond Summit was drawing close and I was asked to be one of the speakers along with three others. It was a very great honor and privilege to be able to speak to young people and it's something that I love to do and will continue to do even when I'm old if they'll listen to me still. So on the Friday night, we heard some amazing points. Here they are. I see passion and I see these kids as being our next generation and I have so much faith in them 
But it comes down to the fact where they see a lot in you. And they see empowerment, and they see improvement, and they see something that they want to become. So you start to realize the impact that you have on these youth. I sometimes get asked if this was my initial plan when I started teaching yoga, was to start a nonprofit, and it wasn't. Uh, but I've had a long journey with mental health uh, through my life, starting as a young teen. So I think that time in life is particularly challenging for a lot of us and I was unable to cope with a lot of the pressures that come at that age and started self-harming. So my mental health kind of went up and down for my teenage years and it was quite a big struggle but I managed to kind of get through it and let go of the self-harming practices. But I think why we're here today is because there's something greater that could happen. There's something bigger that could happen. There's something that actually is meant to be impacted. And I want to do the first thing is by commending you for being here because this is the start of something. Now, I don't know what that is. I don't know where it's exactly going to go, but I do know it's a start. And let me demonstrate something to you. How many steps is this? One step, right? How many steps is this? It's still just one step. It doesn't matter how big or small that step is. It's one. And so what you're doing here today is taking one step. That one step can lead into many steps. You don't really know where it's going to go, but it's going to go somewhere. Maybe the most important thing that I learned is that in order to do anything, to get good at anything, you need to fail and fail super, super hard. The biggest thing that I learned from the past three years of 52 skills and, and learning new skills is that my, my mindset went from I am failing, therefore I am weak, to I am failing, therefore I am improving and growing as an individual. And I think that as soon as you can change your mindset to that, you're going to be ahead of 90% of everyone else who's too afraid to try, who's too afraid to pick up the phone, to send that email, uh, to open up about their story. The next day was incredible because these young people got together in groups and started to discover some of the roadblocks that they saw in communities. And collectively, rather than just spouting opinion or other random ideas, they came together to try to actually start to solve some of the roadblocks that we have in our communities. The results, well, they're coming. I think the first initial steps that were being taken at the Beyond Summit were incredible. Uh, it makes me feel like I have a lot to learn. I'm very close-minded and <laughs> need, to, need to be a part of more things like this. Coming into it, I wasn't really sure what the outcome would be. I wasn't sure my ideas would be put into play if I expressed them, but uh, I really like the idea wheel and I understand that now that I have established that I want to be involved in the community and want to be involved in these ideas that we've all come up with today, that uh, it's actually going to happen. What was really cool is that we were thinking about action not just about problems, so I really like that. Again, the conversations were there to incite change in the community and look at the slogan that they have, right? Extraordinary solutions come from crucial conversations and that's exactly what needed to happen. What I've heard, I think people want another one and want an opportunity and a space where they can come and bring their ideas and hopefully the Ideas Expo that's being put on by the Other Change Summit uh, hopefully you see some friendly faces from this one. I think that you actually have a lot more power to create change than you think you do. But thanks to you, I feel like this event was a huge success. I've heard great things from the people. I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to do good things. As I mentioned off the top, Change Summit 2.0 is coming out in a couple weeks. It'll be held in Stony Plain, Alberta this year, and you can register by clicking the link in the description of this video. Who is this for? Well, people that really want to see change, that are willing to lay down their titles, their position, to bring their experience and their passion to see communities healed to the table. That's the thing that I really want to point out here. These summits aren't ways for people to flex their muscles. They're ways for us to actually come together and strengthen one another where 
we might actually be weak. From the Beyond Summit, to the Chain Summit, to the next Beyond Summit, I don't know where it's gonna go. I will keep telling the story though, and if you stay tuned to the Community Compass and the website, which has been on the screen the whole time, you'll start to see what is actually all around you every single day where you live. One step at a time. Don't need to freak out about it all being done at once. Just as long as we keep one foot in front of the other on the journey. Until next time, I'm Jesse Martino with the Community Compass.